This is another tutorial brought to you from LearnFreePhotography.net. Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial brought to you from LearnFreePhotography.net. Uh, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you about Photoshop and layers, how we use layers and um, what they're good for. So, uh, in this lesson we'll cover the subjects of layers, I'll explain what layers are, how we use layers, layer masks, and that's it. So to get down to it, uh, so what are layers? Layers in the simplest form are a transparent sheet of paper. We can draw on them, paint on them, and add images to them. Well that's all good, but why do we use them? Well imagine you have a drawing of a house, but you want to see what colour the house would look best painted. Well, we could simply draw straight onto the picture, but once you do it, that's it. You, you just have to throw it away if you don't like the colour. So we use a layer or a transparent sheet of paper over the top. By colouring that see-through sheet of paper, we can now take it off and throw it away if we don't like the colour. Moving on, so how, how do we use layers? We use layers in Photoshop all the time, from adding a simple effect to adding text. I will now show you a quick tutorial on um, using layers. Okay, so here we are inside of Photoshop. Now, you can see in this little palette down here, layers. Um, that should be stock standard on every Photoshop. If you can't see it, just go to Window and go and click on Layers. That's gone. Now we'll go back, Layers, now it's there again. Alright, you can see our image sitting in the Layers palette. Now, what I was explaining to you before, if we want to if we wanted to draw something on this, uh, I'll just use white. If I just wanted to write, I don't know, just do that. That's that's it. That image is now destroyed. I can't use that for anything. I can't move that. I can't move it. But by using and to get rid of it, we have to erase it. Sorry, I've got. Uh, we have to erase it, but that erases the image. So what do we do? We simply create a layer. Now the layer is down here. To add another layer, we just click on this little icon down here, or we can go to Layer, New Layer, and that's it. Now we have this checker box. That represents transparency. Now we can now write on top of that, with that layer selected, we can do whatever we want, and we can now turn that on and off. Now, that does not harm the picture whatsoever. We can even move this around if we want to. That is the benefit of using a layer. Um, we can add in text. We can do anything we want. Text will add its own layer, I imagine. Yeah, it's added its own layer. So, if I just write, learn free photography, Net. and I make sure that is 24 that's it now I can delete that last layer and it's gone easy as that I don't have to erase any part of the picture now I can now transform that using control T and I can make that as big as I like. It's as easy as that. The next stage of uh, layers is known as a layer mask. Layer masks allow us to take parts of a layer away or put it back in, for example. We use layer masks to achieve effects such as color splash, where we add, simply add color to the black and white image. I'll just give you a quick demonstration on This one's a bit harder to explain, so I'll give you a quick demonstration on it. Okay, here we are now back in Photoshop. Um, a layer mask allows us to do different things to the image uh, which a normal layer wouldn't, such as if we just create a normal layer, oh sorry, if I, if I duplicate this layer 
and I call this, uh, well I'll just leave it as background copy. Now if I make this into a layer mask, and I make this, I'll just change the exposure of it, so the, level, the levels. Let's make it a bit brighter. Alright, by using this layer mask, if I turn that on and off, you'll see the original one's dark, the top one's light. Now, see this white sheet here? That represents our layer mask. Now, if we use a paint, uh, sorry, if we use a paintbrush with black, because that's white, we use black, and we just paint where we want things to go darker, we simply just paint onto our image. That's because it's allowing the bottom image to come through to this layer. Now, when I said we had to use a black paintbrush because that was white, that also goes the other way around. So if I just undo that, and I press Control i on my keyboard, that's now black. And now this layer is invisible, the light layer is invisible. So if we use white, and I paint, that's now allowing this layer to become visible to this layer. It's a bit hard to understand, but if you keep at it, you'll get it really quick. Now that's it. Um, give it a try. This is just a quick lesson on the description and the use of layers. I hope you can use this to further your skills in Photoshop. And thank you. If you have learned from this tutorial, please hit this little subscription button at the top and leave a comment. Don't forget to visit our site www.learnfreephotography.net.